Hey, okay, Brandon here, and today we're gonna talk about day bending, and it's gonna be how to save you guys some money. So what we wanna do is really be able to maximize the advertising that you're putting into your business, right? And the best way to do that is to make sure that it's being shown during the best times of the day. And by day bending, it's gonna allow you to actually uh, only serve your ads at the time that you know they're going to convert. So in the beginning, you're going to have to really make them for about 24 hours a day, and you're going to want to keep them going for about the first 17 to 36 hours to see what the results are like, seeing what you need to tweak, let them run a little bit longer, and then just keep tweaking along the way as long as you're getting some type of result. Um, I typically let them run until we really see it's not doing well at all, until we go ahead and go into another direction. But typically, you could tweak your way to a nice cost. So if you look here, I'm real happy with these numbers. You could tell that once we saw that we were paying about $9 per lead in that one we turned it off so that was probably the one that we only had running for as you could see just like a day maybe uh you know maybe a day and a half and so that allowed us to see where that cost was once we saw that that cost was up above what we wanted turned it off right so then we started going to the next layer and the next layer and the next layer so we that was one of them was with the many chat test and another one was with just a straight email we saw that the one with the email actually outperformed the one with the many chat with this specific campaign and if we look at the numbers in specifically we could see right here that we've got uh, you know, eight registrations completed, 14 website purchases. We've got, you know, 22 leads on this one and two website purchases. And this one just with three leads. So no, no money on that. But you can see this was a profitable campaign for us. And this allowed us to now see where we wanted to actually shrink down the time to. So if we looked at your time of day where you got the most leads and the most conversions, now you can see exactly when you want to turn them off. And all you have to do by turning them off is just by pausing them right over here, like how they are right now. If I wanted to turn them on, I would just click this button on, right? So you would just come into your campaign, right into your ads manager, and then you would just find the campaign that you wanted to get to. So if it was say the, uh, the email swipe campaign, like what we're in right now, if I went to, this is where you'd be right here. And then all you wanna do is just, you wanna click on that, take you right to where we just were. Now you can turn all these off, you could turn them all on, doesn't really matter just depending on what results they have. So now what's gonna be able to be cool is that you can see lined up which interest gave you the best response. You can see that we had a custom retargeting audience and a custom retargeting looking like audience. So both these right here were basically the same audiences and you could tell that they were right there. The thing we were really testing was, were we going to be able to get a lower cost if we got the bot involved? And you could tell that we were actually paying seven cents more. And so we went in a different direction with the mini bot campaign to get our leads down lower than that, just coming from a different angle, because we saw that people were happy to give us uh, their name and their email and even sometimes their phone number for about five bucks. So it was pretty cool stuff. And now what we wanna do is make sure that when you come into your ads manager, you can come over to your breakdown column. And inside your breakdown column, you're gonna have all these different ways for us to look at this. Just go into your time of day for the ad account of the time zone that your account is in. You're gonna click that. And then that's gonna take you to what we're looking at right now. Now you can see that we have you know leads that are coming in from pretty much one o'clock in the morning to one o'clock in the you know to, to midnight the next day. So we're getting leads all around, but look at the cost per lead, right? 17, 24, 15, and then four dollars, and then 14, 11. So there's times throughout the day where they're gonna be, and if we let this continue to run, we'd see even bigger trends, right? Because again, we let these things pause because it's a warm market, and so we don't wanna keep flooding them with the same advertising over and over and over again. We wanna keep using them and recycle them as we build our audience. So we'll re relaunch this ad in probably about another month, and all we have to do is just turn these things on. That's how great this is. This is gonna just perform the same way because now we're gonna come back here, make sure that when we relaunch it, we're gonna launch it during a certain time, and we should be able to recapture a lot more leads at a lower cost. So now what we want to do is look at the cost per lead throughout the day. You could tell that from, I mean, just from one in the morning until it looks like nine in the morning. That would be the best time. I mean, if we really got crazy, it would be between six to nine in the morning. I mean, we're averaging less than $2 a lead. I mean, that's that's this is really crazy to see that most people are either coming in in the very early, between seven and nine in the morning is under a dollar. And then we have what right around yeah that's about there and then if we look at the next ad right now we're looking at the next ad set and you could tell here this is the one with the bot we saw that they have uh oh where to go right here so most of those came in if you look at that most of those came in between for the nice cost right at around like 11 o'clock at night so people who were opting into the bot were giving us a lower cost at under a dollar per lead 
at night. And then the people who are giving us their name and their email were the ones that were opting in early in the morning for the lowest cost. So just things like that to keep in mind when you're running your advertising to make sure that you're not getting charged for, you know, serving your ad at two, three in the morning. If they're not going to be opting in at two, three in the morning, then don't serve it. And the way that you prevent that is you can go in there manually and you could actually do it by mobile, right? You could do it through your phone as long as you have access to the ad account. You could do it through this way, like how I just showed you where if we were to go and this is how it would look when you got into your ad account. And like I mentioned, you just come here, you go to time of day ad account for your time zone and you're gonna get taken to the where we just were so you can see what hours are there. But when you're at this spot, you could just turn these on or off. And once you turn these on or off, that'll let you know if you're gonna be getting charged for them. And that's how you wanna just come in here and after about two, three weeks, change out the ad set or change out the creatives and all those things to keep the ad fresh. But you can keep these things running for as long as you can until you see the price start to decrease. Typically right around, uh, you know, when you see your, when, your, when your cost per lead starts to really go up in, the, in prices when you wanna go ahead and change these out. So just make sure you're keeping your eye out on everything like I showed you today. And it's not really that difficult, right? It's just looking at a few different things and then you're gonna be tweaking them along the way. And all this stuff is gonna happen after you let it all run for 24 hours. You have to let your ad run for 24 hours, typically a few days, to be able to get the which hour you wanna be able to uh, you know, shrink it down to, and then you'll be in a good spot to be able to maximize your dollars. So that's day bending, go ahead and get to it. Make sure that you're going through your advertisings right now and shrinking down the hours that they're being served based on the analytical data that Facebook's providing with you each and every day. I'll see you on the next video, guys.